duo of friends and I'm back. Now I want to share something else about living simpler and cheaper. And what I thought was, um, I'm not sure how many of you are doing op shopping these days, but I came to op shopping a little bit later in life. And I'm not saying that you're gonna like any of my clothes, but I think that it's quite cool to show what is available. And for some things, absolutely ridiculously super cheap. So for example, this is a lovely um, shirt that I got from my auntie. She, she sells clothes to raise money for charity, which is really cool. So anything I'm about to show you now costs either $10 or less. This is Zara, and my lovely friend Suzanne gave this to me, and that uh, I think cost her ten dollars. She just saw it in an op shop, and and thought that it was quite nice. I love this one for for a blingy party. I think that cost me about two dollars from Save Mart, and it's an it's an old fashioned one. I think it's literally vintage. These are some great trousers, really floaty, that a girlfriend and I were at the car boot market together. I don't think we swapped those. These two last couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, couple of months have bought their really just cute little vintage skirts. They cost $2 each. And then just something floaty from the car boot market. The car boot market's actually really good because what some people do is they just go around and do all the hard work and find stuff for you. And then they sell it quite cheap at the car boot market. But you can choose to go somewhere a bit more upmarket, like a designer kind of secondhand shop. So just a couple things I want to show you here. This is Trillis Cooper. Really beautiful spangly skirt. I can't recall how much that cost me, maybe 60 or 80 bucks. This is um, a Scottish, look at the beautiful interior. And this is just amazing for me for winter in Dunedin. And I think that might've cost me about a hundred bucks, but it's just so worth it. And finally, this was a little bit cheaper, but it's a really good leather jacket. I think it cost me about $30. So just have a thing and have some fun going in, but they, they don't seem to smell. Some people have a real problem with thinking that things are a bit scoty at, at a uh, second hand shop. But I think that it's fun and it gets you to uh, expand your wardrobe a bit without having to buy cheap stuff. Kia kaha.